These are the kinds of flashing lights we expect to see at Riverhead High School, but three times in the past 10 days, the flashing lights were from police patrol cars and ambulances. On February 4th, a student overdosed and had to be revived using Narcan, according to police. The student reported having used a vape pen. Then, less than a week later, on February 10th, another student passed out at the school. The school nurse once again used Narcan to revive a student, even though the student later reported not using any substances. And yesterday, a student reported difficulty breathing and was rushed to the hospital. The student reported having eaten a chocolate bar made with THC, the chemical that provokes the psychological effects of marijuana. It's terrible. These kids are going to die. She's among many parents and others in the community who are really concerned about what this could mean. Are you disappointed? Very, extremely, in society and as a whole. Um, we are not where we need to be. Just have a class that helps them not turn to drugs and maybe do something else to keep their mind off of everything. Those big assemblies, we can argue whether or not they're good or bad or indifferent, but those discussions haven't happened over the course of two years. Dr. Jeffrey Reynolds is the CEO of Family and Children's Association, which helps thousands of families deal with substance misuse. He says schools need to do more, but that parents need to have a conversation with their kids as well. Hey, do you know anyone in your school who might be struggling? Hey, do you know anyone who knows these kids? You know, have you thought about yourself and, and that kind of thing? How are you feeling? You know, basic questions like that. This is a great springboard for parents to have that conversation. And the school itself sent out letters to families encouraging them to have conversations like that. They made it clear they don't want to see any more overdoses, and there is generally a concern that if any more overdoses were to happen, the outcomes may be worse than the ones we've seen over the last 10 days.